Oh man, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm not an eye surgeon, not for me. Tanning bed disasters, permanently logging off, and lots of new fears unlocked. It's been highly requested in the comment section, so today we are breaking down and reacting to all of the disastrous medical scenes and wild injuries from Final Destination. Let's dive right in. Oh! A hot cup of coffee spilled right into your crotch. And hot! That skin in between you know where is like super sensitive, super thin, can get first degree, second degree, even third degree burns. Oh no. gosh. That individual has no chance at that point. I don't care if you have airbags or a seatbelt. We all know this. You don't need to be a doctor to figure this out. Oh! Gentleman slammed right into a tree thinking severing your spinal cord because of the amount of force that you land into a hard and then your bike comes in again going, you know, 40 to 60 miles an hour right either in your legs or the abdomen. It just depends on where it hits you. With this car flipping, we actually see a lot of people that actually fly out of the car. And so when EMS gets on scene, we always ask, where was the individual found in relationship to their vehicle? Were they tossed from it? Did they just get out of it? Oh my gosh, still alive. Simple injuries, scratches. You're wearing the seatbelt. Obviously, everybody wears a seatbelt. The airbags might have not been in. They might have not deployed because of not as much frontal injury. Oh my gosh. Like these are the worst luck ever. We do see people that come in after a car has been on fire. You do worry about not only just like burns, but the materials that are burning. So you always worry about like potentially cyanide poisoning. The SUV slamming into the tree again. Flipping over. Survivable? Yes. EMS will probably put you on a backboard, put you in a seat collar. Stop! Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Okay. A water bottle getting stuck underneath the brake. It's not unrealistic. So just be careful what you have in the car and you know keep any obstructions away from the driver's side at least. Oh no. It's way too warm in here now, huh? Tanning bed. Uh -huh. Tanning beds, no good, okay? They increase your exposure to UV radiation, which then increases your risk for skin cancer, melanoma, as well as aging of your skin, thinning of your skin. Oh my gosh, melting. Oh, it's getting shattered. The glass is shattering, so you worry about like simple lacerations. Likelihood that you're going to lacerate a major artery is probably pretty low because most arteries are quite protected by where they are anatomically in our body. <gasps> oh my gosh, dude. I was not ready for that. This is awful. Really, there's not much to do at this point. You have melting of your airway potentially as you breathe in the flames. You're having the fire itself taking the oxygen away from you in that area, so you're becoming hypoxic. So you have a double whammy. That's so much, oh, I see what's happening. He's going to drown. He's panicking, which then is going to decrease the ability for him to hold his breath, and he's gonna run out of oxygen quick. Stop it. I have literally seen where somebody's rectum prolapses, AKA comes out. Put her back in. Like literally involutes the other way. So it looks like this big sausage, sausagey looking thing. And it's very tender, it's painful. There's a nerve endings, it could bleed. What? I don't know anything about pools except uh, going in them is fun and hanging out with your friends, but could it actually do that to somebody? That's crazy. I can't move my head. Perfect. Just what we want. Here comes the drop. Okay, so device so you don't move your head. I'm assuming this is like an ophthalmologist putting drops in the eye. And you will 
will feel a little numbness. Numbness drops. So we typically use either tetracaine or preparacaine. All the meds that end in cane pretty much are the anesthetic. So lidocaine, bupivacaine. Relax. Oh my God, the ominous music. Don't tell your patient to relax. It's really an inappropriate word. It's really hard to relax when somebody's sticking metal in your eye. Is that supposed to be happening? Where is the doc? Typically, a ophthalmologist would do this potential laser therapies. A lot of times when somebody is in these type of devices, they're doing other therapies by hand versus the machine. Somebody needs to be manning the machine. Somebody needs to be around. <gasps> Slow, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm not an eye surgeon. Not for me. Wow, look at that. It's like cutting through regular flesh and tissue. Watching these movies, they definitely get you worked up, excited. My company, Life Happens. We have chillax for those occasional stresses. And then we have Do Not Disturb. So you can turn your brain off at night. What? What is it, Nora? <gasps> wait, wait. Those hooks are prosthesis for individuals that obviously don't have an arm, and the hooks help grab. That's why those are there. Oh, oh! Oh no, oh my God. Could blood come out of your mouth? Because we know that is the view that we all get in movie shows. In this circumstance, it actually could work in the sense of crushing an airway, crushing the neck. Oh. Oh my gosh. What would you do if that happened in real life? Decapitation. You lose the connection of the brain to the body, so heart and lung function will cease because there's no more information. You still have oxygenated blood in your brain, but is there consciousness? That is a million dollar question, and really nobody knows the answer to it. The likelihood is no. Very entertaining, very scary. A lot of things to talk about. I know there's a lot more accidents and injuries that occur throughout this movie franchise, so if you guys are interested in it and you want me to do more, more, just let me know, leave a comment so I know that you guys want to see more of this. And as always, do me a favor, make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on and hit that like button for me. It really helps the channel grow so it reaches more people so that we can make more videos. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.